The Feisty Five, a group of outlaws, stopped us in our tracks and jailed our blue big birded friend. Luckily, Northstar seems to be interested in us, so let's find out what he has planned. It's nothing weird, right? Right? And here we are. We're back in the wild wild... Well, not west, but east. And uh, there's a little town here for us to explore, so let's talk to a few people, shall we? I think this is one of the Feisty Five. What's up? Um, about Marlet. I totally get what you'd be upset, but I could explain, I think. Uh, see, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star for, to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. Uh, the head of the royal guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her. I've just heard we look alike. That's true, she is also a fish lady. Hey, I don't know if you're uh, aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stables. My friend runs in while I oversee the uh, profits. You should try it out. Cards? Hey, I'm down with cards. Greetings! May I interest you in a game of Six Shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs three Gs to play with a potential of profit. Intrigued? I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20. Then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match the cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card uh, deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win uh, in under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25G. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15G. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? Alright, so, uh... It's memory, but the only with touching cards, apparently. Let's play around. Oh. Okay, so, uh, it's even face up. I'm uh, probably gonna fail this, but who knows. I think I already messed up at the top. Or did I... Did I mess up? Oh, that works as well. That is very good to know. Shame! Would you like to play again? Nee! Nee! Nee, I say, for I'm a horse, each and every day. I crunch upon carrots and munch about hay, but a shy horse I am, so please go away. <laughs> is there anyone in jail? Oh, look at our friend is in jail. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. I didn't do nothing bad, I swear. Over. I knew I could count on you. So, uh, me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway, that Sheriff Nordstar, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows that is unjust, and will free me. When the time comes, I'll... Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. Like, it's all big, but we're cornered. Ask or another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can get his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Uh, what a day. Hiya! 
well job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. Anyway, see you later. I was gonna say what's up with all the cactus, but this is the Wild East after all. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Oh, I would bury myself in the sand, and it's sand if I could. Yep, yep. Hey, cat. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. This place turned to shit. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. Who doesn't like sleeping in a hole in the floor? You push the hammock. It sways. It sways hypnotizing. A surprising looking kitchen. Impressive. Weird. You haven't seen any cats around. Yeah, they're, they're good at hiding, Katie's. You turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel. White noise. A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie. My second favorite movie. Don't watch this one, zero out of ten. <laughs> you press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. Alright, so let's go into the hospital, I guess. Snoozy, snoozy. Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. Is he having a plague doctor mask? We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the Doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Um, I'm hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just a boost you need. For an offer on prior 30G, I can overcharge your health. Oh, it's an experimental medicine. But who said I was qualified? What do you say? Do I have 30G? Come close and I'll begin the procedure. Hmm, I see. A little bit of this and done. 15 extra HP, baby. I might take risks, but I'm not crazy. Ha ha ha. Phew. I'm sure it's going to be a whoop de boop After I checked myself in, the doc said I went out of whoop de boop yesterday. But uh, at least I have this fluffy bed to cheer me up. I, I, I have no idea what he was all saying there. Okay, so let's check with Northstar, I guess. We're ready to begin. Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny. Not really. You're gonna need to if you're gonna be a good deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. No, don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle these horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. Or to drag anyone off the road and give them a special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinger skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. What the hell is in store for me now? Alright everyone, come here. What you want, boss? Oh, are we going to begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night inside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Others? Monsters? Uh... Um... Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm aiming at? Oh, oh, oh no! Yes, Mooch? A duel! Bingo! Mission 1. Dangerous duel. <laughs> No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't uh, look right. Look at her head. It's tattered and precisely decomposing. And an iron in their holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Call it Ace. I'm sure they try their best. Oh, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil with gifts? To the weapon store. Mission 1. Dress to impress. I don't have money to buy stuff, dude. Oh my god, there's a little dummy in the back there. 
<laughs> of course, old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his words and uh, pretty could lose them. Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I can make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumbo. Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumbo is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week. Call the king in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. God damn it, North Star, you drive a hard bargain. Don't worry, Clover, he is coming. Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I'm just gonna ask you to sell the guns of this child. Child, you see, I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. Uh, I'll give you four on the G. Uh, you got my fucking attention. Well, then why didn't you open with that kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had all the control. Get out here, Clover. You drive a hard bargain, mister. Done and done. Can I get a yee-haw? Alright, uh, uh, move it along. Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six-shooter as a gift from me. You got a wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, any alive or nothing. Are you very sure about that? I don't need partner. The dummy does nothing. It's alright, partner. Try again. Oh, okay. Okay. Mighty fine job. Give it another go. There you go. One more. Not shooting. I'd say you're in that drill. I'm impressed, kid. I swear this this dummy is gonna come alive, isn't he? Nope. He definitely passed this part of the training. I gotta go tell Saroba about this. She's a big daughter when it comes to you. That's right on. Saroba, guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey. Feathers was a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh well, Clover just passed the first round of training. They're quite a sharpshooter. Almost as good as me. Really? A child? No, no, don't disrespect a kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just uh, very impressed. Oh hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, oh, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Kuroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Suddenly the music stops. Overly dramatic scene. Hi. 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 Uh, tell me, Drew. Are you... Uh, are you into all of this? Uh, not really. Sorry that Star's dragging you around so much, Dan. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kinda goofy, but it's nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion could go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. Look at us just death staring. And the corn they grow? So good. They used to give me my husband, Chu Jin, basket full of every week. Every other week. Yeah. Anyway, I drew love. Where was I? I'm back. I'm back, man. 
Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here. You got a nice head. Oh, I can totally see the difference. Whoa. I can even tell it changed. If I were standing from afar. It looks great. What do you think, Saroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. You know what? Maybe it's a good moment to save, actually. Because you never know what's going to happen next. I was lying about being close to an accident earlier. I just didn't expect uh, all of this. On the bright side, uh, you might be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock is totally pointless. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Is this Mo? Wham, what's up? You're probably wondering why I'm here, right? Surely a monster of my stature should always be out there hustling. Well, here's a tip from a pro. Always be your own boss. If you ever feel like you need a break, take the opportunity. I'm always traveling back and forth, making dough, being cool, etc. It's an exhausting life. Am I wrong? He's absolutely right. Ain't I always? Uh, that's rhetorical. Look, more of the story is, don't overwork yourself, eh? That's about as wise I can get. Don't get used to it. Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we're gonna have some catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's eye, uh, keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. <laughs> Thank you, Store. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. I was real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. You kind of sent me in to get it. You know, I'm the best negotiator. Might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Hmm, totally. Let's get to the mission already. Yeah. Right, you are it. Whatever mission would it be, uh, than the one that we skipped before. Get ready, Clover. Mission two. Dangerous duel. It's time for real. It's time for us to duel. It's time for us to du -du 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 duel. I mean, duel. That's what I said. No, you pronounce it with a UA sound instead of a OO sound. Boss, you've been skipping cowboy grammar class. Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. You all need to quiet in quite interrupting me. Quit interrupting me so often. Upsets my frontiers. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to uh, participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, perfect cloak with the design. Let's need a tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Why do we get the six shooter if we just get a pea shooter here? I mean, free gun. Free gun. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was going to do, Moray. Get off my back, will ya? Alright, it's finally time to go ahead to. Uh, wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could hurt Clover. Right. I'll take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. I mean, I mean, red is my favorite color, so that's that's for the best. Yeah. Oh my god, those glasses are adorable. Now we're in business. Alrighty, Clover. We're gonna take 10 paces. We're gonna take 10 paces and turn face to read each other. Be here to draw sound. Grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta wait for the signal. It ain't fair. Let's try one more time. Shooty McGee. Star, 
Star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who? Oh, no, you give your inheritance to. Not you. Heck. Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all swallows or stones and rainbows, you understand? You might have heard of someone I must carry that weight on your back. Hope it didn't scar ya. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'll be seeing good things in your kid. Here's your iron. Also, I've been eating those glasses. Oh, my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. The townsfolk are raving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I can totally go toe to toe with you. I know for a fact I could win an arm wrestle with you right now. No training. If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy decision. That upsets you? I'm not sorry. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't cross me if I were me. Hello. Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything, I'm in town visiting my little moray. My lovely wife Angie is running the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. That's a risk we're taking. Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done with your training. Halfway done? Six missions? They grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Follow me. You know the drill team, ain't no time to be lazing around. Uh-oh. Hello? Where's everyone? Sorry about this, Clover. Uh, they should be here any second now. Star, um, what is happening to the rest of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? But George, this must be an attack from the Vengeful Virgil. Vengeful Virgil? Who's that? Soroba, come on. The Druids won the poster last month. It's on the news board. You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you better go stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this clover. Mission 3. What the heck? Uh, sure you saw something troubling here? Yep, down. <gasps> How did you miss this? Oh my god. No, not the train dilemma. Not the train dilemma. <laughs> no. Hey, you did not sign up for this. Get me out of here. Bad, keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just in time. Ever is being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. Why? This is Carrie Star. I'm afraid you must choose which track its train travels on. Yeah, choose Anne. Uh, Moj, you're dead to me. Well, the Star chooses you instead. Uh, that's cool. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. But then if Clover choose, of course, Clover don't have no emotional attachment to it all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit too much? No, oh, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be here by your hand and only Ed gets hit. Not as much of a sacrifice. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? So here's the thing. The train conundrum is always just like, okay, well, let one person die in favor of all the others. But in this case, look how big Ed is. I think he could actually take out the train while it hits him. We're out of time. If only we could untie everyone. If only. You gotta choose now, Clover. So, I'm gonna save the others. It's the actual train. God damn it. My point. Ugh. Clover, how could you? Is this about me carrying you earlier? Did I hurt you? 
No, no. In defense of Clover, he just saved many lives. Uh, I guess that's true. Clover proved that they was willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Quite noble, don't you think, Soroba? Uh, there's a lot of layers to this scenario. I believe it's more... Uh, quite noble indeed. This was a test of your judgment. I'd say you're sparsed, buddy. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. Uh, see you around. Is anyone gonna untie us? Ooh, nope, not me. Not me. Not me. Good luck with that. Hey, it's one of our uh, up buddies. Hey, would you look at that? Hey, you know, fresh raccoon. How's it going, kid? You giving the shelf is a good name on there? You know, it's tough being a world renowned gang leader. I gotta run around on the ground every now and then. Make sure we're beating properly, representing, you know. You ain't getting respect like, uh, like who's by lazing around, kid. Howdy. Man, am I excited for this. Have you ever done anything you wanted? Caught some bandits? Saved some lives? Let's get going then. Final call. Get on over here. Are you all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. Uh... So, Clover, I actually checked out. There's no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of a regiment. Anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot in the team. Clover's too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the Wild East, Baku. They passed their training like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. The last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that it slid my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. So this is awkward. This is just peachy. You getting this attention and all? How come you waltz in here and Star instantly makes you deputy? We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso trainings. Lasso lane, lasso lessons. Lessons for short. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me was unbearable. Yeah, and he made me pickpocket monsters by the oasis. Star didn't make you do that. <laughs> you know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. And finally, some real excitement. Feisty four? Here we come. Time to get feisty. I think we can distract Ed. You throw sand into the air, your clothes are dirty. So you're a new deputy, huh? Then you shouldn't have a problem dodging this. Oof. The four are deciding who attacks next. You smirk at the four antics, they're trying. Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been poor all day. Oh! Oh! Whoa! The four are deciding who takes next. You smirk at the four's antics. They're trying. <laughs> cool look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ace is practicing sleight of hand. You hold your ground with the chaos unfolds around you. Quick, Hogging Clover. This is my time to shine! For a sign, who checks next? You throw sand into the air, your clothes are dirty. Oof! That's for training, Souls Mooch. Let's see if you can pass around too, kid. Oh, boy. Uh, how the fuck do I avoid that? Mooch looks around suspiciously. He 
point at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as always, Clover. Ready for this? I keep getting those two mixed up. Smells like teamwork. You throw sand into the air, you just don't care. Now, now, quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. And pounds his fist together triumphantly. Do I just have to hold on? My turn, my turn. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> For a bickering. Let's uh, get some CT. Moray, let's team up for an attack. Oh, that would be hard. Oh, damn it! Ow! You pointed them hospital friend. It's why didn't you why don't you notice me, Senpai? Ugh, Mooch. Cars on Hellkines. I think I just had to hold on. Don't be so kind next time. Holy hot diggity damn! You break the hot honeydew coffee. You can feel your taste buds burning off. We ain't done yet. Get ready for my strongest attack. Hey. Oh man. What in the actual gosh damn tarnation is happening here? We felt your training was lackluster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of lasso lessons for this. I'll unlock you away with feathers. Start, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie. It's true, this hasn't been any fun. What are you all blabbering about? This is the most alive this town has ever been. Why does everything have to be spectacle, huh? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader. The monster who could make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Should I? Starlo? Why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for the human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. <sighs> I know what this all is about. You're all just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover shot circles around and around, you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. No, Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resigned from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now? i still be the Feisty Five without you, so go ahead. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life tells you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Again, this is only... One apology away. Fine. I was considering firing you all anyway. So, Robert, you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. You motherfucker. Starlo. They're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I tried to brush it off as you are having fun at first, but... This is what he's thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. That's no start to you. Fuck you. Well, everyone's gone. I got no posse, no friends. I, I need to think. I can fix this. And we still have our death stare. Well, more of a story, uh, story episode this time. But I liked it. Hopefully, I see you again next week. Or 
back on Wednesday with another episode. See you then. Goodbye.